Off the top at six, over the past two weeks, our state has dealt with hundreds of thousands of power outages. That's led to spoiled food, frozen pipes, and pricey hotel rooms. So what's being done to try to prevent outages like this? For years, power companies have scoffed at the idea of burying power lines. But today we're learning that that attitude may be changing. News 8's Joe LaFergie has our story, all new at 6. And I run a cord. Chuck Loper has some cord. advice for anyone moving into my his rural neighborhood box. near Belding. First thing you do is buy a generator if you live out in this road. It happened again last week. Ice formed behind Loper's home. The trees came down, bringing the power lines with them. I was out a day. It's something Loper and his neighbors have come to expect. Year after year, it doesn't get any easier. We lose it. Well, it depends on... The weather, you know, basically, but when the weather hits, we usually lose it a lot. You could be out for days and you never get a break, you know. They don't discount you, they don't do it, they just, you know, you get your your power back and it's like you never lost your power. There is what seems like an easy solution, put the lines underground. Oh, I love that idea. I love that idea, yeah, because that will eliminate a lot, mm -hmm. especially out here, because you get so many bad trees. They just take it out. For years, many have been asking, why not bury? And for years, the answer from Consumers Energy has been, it's just too expensive. Well, now the utility is changing their tune. Especially in areas um, that are that are rural with lots of trees and many, many miles of line that would be at risk um, from trees during extreme wind or ice storms. Consumers Energy Vice President Greg Salisbury says burying one of their electric lines costs five to six times more than putting it in the air on a pole. But in rural areas where tree trimming and other maintenance is a challenge, the initial investment of burying a line may be worth it. A new pilot program will test that out. What we're looking at is strategically choosing areas where the challenge of managing trees is going to be so significant as to change that balance of upfront cost versus lifetime maintenance. Don't look for lines in the city or suburbs to be buried. Consumers has launched a five-year, $5 billion infrastructure investment plan that includes inspecting half of the utility's 50,000 miles of lines and trimming 7,000 miles of trees to reduce overall outages. The utility is hoping burying lines in rural areas will add to those reductions. There's a way to do this um, with much smaller numbers that will have a very big impact if it's applied surgically. Consumers Energy tells us among the first areas to have lines buried will be along the lakeshore here in West Michigan. In Grand Rapids, Joe Lafergie, News 8.